You toss last night's pizza into the microwave, press a random button, and somehow it comes out hot. Magic, right? But how did you make it this far in life without knowing what's actually happening inside that little box? Today, I'll explain how a microwave magically heats food to you like you're five years old, and by the end, you'll finally understand why your leftovers get hot without turning into a flaming science experiment. It turns out, it's not actual magic. Shocker, I know. It's not some tiny chef hiding inside, blowing fire at your food, and it's not a secret portal to the sun that only opens for your frozen burritos. What it is, actually, is invisible wiggling energy that makes the little tiny bits of water in your food dance very, very fast. Imagine you have a super secret machine that makes invisible wiggling fingers. These aren't just any wiggling fingers. They're special, super fast wiggling fingers that love to tickle water. The secret machine is called a magnetron. Say it with me. Magnetron. Sounds kind of like a superhero, doesn't it? Well, it's kind of a superhero for your leftover pizza. The magnetron is the heat of the microwave. It's the part that actually makes those invisible wiggling fingers. And it doesn't make heat, it just makes waves. Invisible waves of wiggling energy. Now, these invisible wiggling fingers, also known as microwaves because they come from the magnetron, are a type of energy wave. Think of them like invisible radio signals, but instead of carrying music or talk shows, they carry jiggle power. They are special because they're really good at finding and tickling water. And not just any water, but the tiny, tiny bits of water that are in pretty much all your food. Even dry looking bread has little bits of water. And that's the secret. The invisible wiggling fingers don't care about the plate or the air or the plastic cover, they just want to tickle the water. So. The magnetron makes these invisible wiggling fingers. And where do they go? They get sent into the box of your microwave. And inside the box, these invisible wiggling fingers fly around everywhere. They bounce off the shiny walls of the microwave, flying around to make sure they hit every single piece of your food. And they're really good at finding the food. Now, let's talk about that food. Inside your food, there are tiny, tiny little water dancers. They're so small that you can't even see them. They just sit there, minding their own business until the invisible wiggling fingers from the microwave show up. When those invisible wiggling fingers hit the tiny water dancers, they make them start to wiggle. And not just a little wiggle, but a super fast, super excited wiggle. It's like when you play really fast music and suddenly everyone in the room starts to bounce and move around. These tiny water dancers, once they feel the wiggling fingers, can't help but jiggle and spin and flip all around. And here is where the heat comes in. Think about it like this. If you have a room full of kids and you tell them to all start jumping and spinning and wiggling around in a small place, what happens? They start bumping into each other, right? I mean, they might even rub shoulders or bump hips. And when they bump into each other, they make a little bit of friction. And when things rub together, they make heat. It's like when you rub your hands together really fast on a cold day. Your hands get warm, don't they? That is friction. The same thing happens with the tiny water dancers inside your food. When the invisible wiggling fingers make them wiggle, they bump into all their tiny water dancer friends. Bump, bump, bump. And all that bumping and wiggling and rubbing creates friction. And that friction, my friend, is what makes your food hot. So, it's not the invisible wiggling fingers themselves that are hot. It's the jiggling tiny water dancers bumping into each other that make the heat. And the heat starts right there, inside the food, wherever the water dancers are. This is why a microwave heats food differently than a regular oven. A regular oven makes the air inside super hot, and then the hot air touches the outside of the food, and slowly, slowly, the heat moves from outside of the food to the inside. That's why your cookie edges might be crisp before the middle is fully baked. But a microwave, it goes right for the water dancers inside. So the wiggling and the bumping starts everywhere that there's water, and pretty much all at once. That's why your food heats up so much faster in a microwave. The invisible wiggling fingers go straight for the target, the tiny water dancers. They don't have to wait for the air outside to get hot first. Now, you might have heard that you should never, ever put metal in a microwave. And that is a very important rule to remember. Like, don't stick forks in the electrical outlets important. But why no metal? Well, because those invisible wiggling fingers, the microwaves, they don't like metal. When the invisible wiggling fingers hit something shiny and hard like metal, they don't tickle it or go through it. Instead, they bounce off of it super fast and get angry. Imagine trying to throw a bouncy ball at a wall, but instead of just bouncing, the ball gets supercharged and shoots off it in unpredictable directions. When these invisible wiggling fingers bounce off of metal, they can create little tiny sparks, like mini lightning bolts. 
And if there are enough of them, or if the metal is pointy, they can even cause a fire. And we don't want fires in our kitchen now, do we? So, no metal forks, no aluminum foil, no fancy plates with gold trim. Stick to glass, ceramic, or microwave-safe plastic. Those materials let the invisible wiggling fingers pass right through them without a fuss, letting them go to the tiny water dancers in your food. Have you ever noticed, though, that your microwave has a spinning plate inside? It's called a turntable. And why does it spin? Well, because even though those invisible wiggling fingers are flying all around inside the microwave box, they don't always hit every part of your food perfectly even. Sometimes, some spots get more wiggling fingers than others. If your food just sat still, one side might get super hot and wobbly, while the other side is still cold and sad. The turntable just makes sure that every part of your food gets a turn to face the invisible wiggling fingers. It's like a tiny amusement park ride for your food, ensuring all the tiny water dancers get their fair share of wiggles. It helps your food heat up evenly, so that you don't end up with a boiling hot bite and then a freezing cold bite right next to it. No one wants that. So, let's go over it again, just so you really, really get it. Step 1. The Magnetron, our superhero machine, makes invisible wiggling fingers, which we call microwaves. Step 2. These invisible wiggling fingers fly into the microwave box and bounce around, looking for tiny water dancers. Step 3. When the invisible wiggling fingers find the tiny water dancers in your food, they make them wiggle super fast. Step 4. All that super fast wiggling makes the tiny water dancers bump into each other. Step 5. All the bumping creates friction, and friction makes heat. And that is how your food gets hot. It's not magic, remember? It's just invisible wiggling energy making little tiny water dancers wiggle and bump. And that's it. It's really a very simple, albeit invisible, process. Your microwave isn't cooking your food with heat from the outside in, it's making the water inside your food generate its own heat from the inside out. Well, mostly from the inside out. Some of the wiggling fingers might start closer to the surface, but the important thing is that they don't need to heat up the air first. They go straight for the water. Now, you might wonder if these invisible wiggling fingers are dangerous. I mean, are they going to make your brain wiggle? Are they going to make you hot? No, your brain isn't going to boil. Microwaves, the invisible wiggling fingers, are designed to stay inside the box. The metal mesh screen on the door of your microwave, you know, the one with all the tiny holes, is there to keep the invisible wiggling fingers safely inside. Those holes are too small for the wiggling fingers to get out, but big enough for you to see your food. It's kind of like a cage for the wiggling fingers. So unless your microwave is broken and the door is falling off, or you decide to stand with your face pressed against it for an hour, you're perfectly safe. Your food is getting hot, not you. And no, your pizza won't spontaneously combust. Probably. So, the next time you pop a plate of leftovers into that noisy box, you'll know it's not some mystical force at work, it's just a clever trick of physics. It's the magnetron making invisible wiggling fingers that tickle the tiny water dancers in your food, making them wiggle and bump into each other, creating heat from all that tiny friction. No fire, no secret chefs, just a whole lot of invisible jiggling. So, to recap for my five-year-old brain trust, a microwave isn't magic. It just makes invisible wiggling fingers that make the tiny water dancers in your food jiggle and bump, and all that bumping makes your food hot. You totally get it now, right? Go forth and microwave with confidence, you clever little snack eater you.